I was outgoing in that I was an actress at that point. I was already like starring on Broadway. And so in some ways you have to be an extrovert, but my actual personality is more introverted. So I feel like Mm. I'm an introverted extrovert where I need to then like after I'm around a lot of people and engaging and listening, I need that time. I need that downtime to myself to be like, okay. You star in the film, No Hard Feelings, which hits theaters on June 23rd. So how would you best describe this movie? Oh, it is a very, very, very raunchy comedy. Yeah. um, Starring Academy Award winner Jennifer Lawrence and um, the brilliant actor Andrew Feldman, who I know from Broadway. Um, And it is like an old school 90s sort of raunchy animal housey sort yeah. of feel. Um, it is not for children. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> um, but I think it's really funny, you know, from what I understand, audiences are laughing a lot, which is the point of a comedy. Absolutely. And you play Allison, who is the mother of Percy, uh, played by, as you mentioned, Andrew Feldman. So how would you best describe your character? She's a helicopter mom. Yeah. You know, I think she is, uh, She's like the third wife of her husband, Laird, played by Matthew Broderick. And they have one child together. And she just, he is her world, you know? So she has designed their world to sort of um, like keep him in a safe space. He's like Rapunzel kind of. Um, And so she would do absolutely anything for him, but because she sheltered him so much, now he doesn't know how to like move in the world. So now they're sort of in this panicked space where they're willing to do this absolutely insane thing in order to prepare him for the reality of the outside world. Absolutely. And this movie seems like a lot of fun just because, as you mentioned, this so raunchy comedy that you would see in the like late 70s, 80s, and even into the 90s. Mm-hmm. Um, but was that, but what ultimately drew you to the movie? Um, I mean, Jennifer Lawrence and Matthew Broderick and well, yeah. you know, this group of people, it's a big, it's a big, huge studio movie. And who doesn't want to be a part of something like that? And speaking of Jennifer Lawrence, how was it working with her and being around her on, on set? She's amazing. You know, she is a Dior model who also happens to be hilarious and grounded and down to earth and an awesome mom and a generous co-star. And I just, I honestly cannot say enough nice things about her. And you mentioned <laughs> that you know Andrew Feldman from Broadway, but you also work with Matthew Broderick in a play recently. We're um, doing it right now. Oh, right, right now. now. Oh, our okay. Last day. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought so. So what do you like most about working with Matthew? Because he is and like Jennifer Lawrence, a veteran actor, award-winning actor. I know him way back from the eighties. So what was yeah. it like working with him? He's awesome. I mean, he and I get along so well. We knew each other peripherally from, you know, just being in show business. Um, but the minute, like, you know, within five minutes of working with each other, I felt like I'd known him forever. We have such a, like, we're so comfortable with each other and I just adore him. He's hilarious. He's yeah. also very grounded for someone who's been so famous for so long. Um, I love working with him. I'm sad that today's the last day of our play. <clears throat> yeah, that is sad. And it's love letters, right? Yeah, exactly. At the Irish rep in New York City. But it's done. We might do it again, but we'll see. Yeah, I hope so. So and with no hard feelings, it's about, and as you mentioned too, um, being more social and venturing out into the world. So when you were 18 or 19 years old, were you more outgoing or were you more of an introvert? I was outgoing in that I was an actress at that point. I was already like starring on Broadway. And so in some ways you have to be an extrovert, but my actual personality is more introverted. So I feel like Mm. I'm an introverted extrovert where I need to then like after I'm around a lot of people and engaging and listening, I need that time. I need that downtime to myself to be like, okay. Absolutely. And along with No Hard Feelings, um, when it comes to your previous projects, you've worked with Amy Schumer quite a bit. So what do you like about uh, most about working with her? Amy is exactly like what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. There is no pretense. There is nothing she's putting on. She just is this person. 
you know, she is grounded and funny and she's a fiercely loyal friend. Like truly when you are friends with her, you know, she would do anything for you. Um, and she's brilliant. I mean, she's brilliant. She's compassionate. She's an activist. She's a mother. She's a wife. She's a friend. She's all of these things. Um, I really genuinely love her and she and Jen are really good friends too. So it doesn't surprise Ah, me that those women would find each other. Of course. And one of the projects you work on with Amy is Life and Beth, which was on Hulu. Uh, the first season premiered last year, renewed for a second season. So what was your reaction when you learned the news there was going to be a season two? I was very excited. I mean, I'm in it very minimally um, right. because that storyline sort of found its way in the first season. But I'm so excited to see it. I think it's going to be absolutely brilliant. And I'm so happy to be a part of it in whatever capacity. Of course. And and moving right along when it comes to other projects, um, are there any other films or TV shows that you're working on that you can talk about? I understand that you're working on or you were working on a film called Good Rich with Mila Kunis and Michael Keaton, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I have a, like a couple of scenes in that movie with Michael, who I did another film with. Um, called Worth with Amy Ryan and Stanley Tucci. So it was really nice to work with him again. That comes out during the holidays. Um, And then I'm going to be in this next season of Gilded Age that's coming out, I believe, September 11th. All right. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, Laura, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and continued success to you.